So my name is Maggie Mamontoff. I'm a first year grad student at the University of Tennessee, Knoxville, uh, pursuing a PhD. Um, and I research dung beetles. There are dwellers that live inside of a dung pat. They lay their eggs in the dung pat and then they fly off to find another one. So they just come in, lay their eggs and leave. Um, then there are tunnelers. So these dung beetles come up to a dung pat, make a tunnel pretty deep underneath, and then they start dragging little bits of dung down to the bottom of their tunnel until they make a really compact um, uh, brood ball. So they compact the dung really tight, they lay an egg right inside that brood ball, and then they put a little uh, microbiome cap to protect the egg. And then they, once they're done making a brood ball or two, they leave and then they go find another dung patty. Um, and then there are rollers that come in, make a, make a ball on the surface. So they shape it with their legs, they roll it off, and then they bury it. So there's three main categories of beetles. They all have different behaviors, um, but all of them use dung in their reproductive success. So um, while you don't normally notice dung beetles since they um, only come into dung, people don't see them around, they actually are one of the um, most important economic insects. Uh, they provide tons of ecosystem services every year. So one of the biggest services dung beetles provide is nutrient cycling. So by bringing the dung underneath the soil, they release all the nutrients from the dung a lot faster than if it slowly decomposes on the top of the soil. Um, and so dung beetles are responsible for cycling nutrients. So they do a lot of really important ecosystem processes by removing the dung from the top of the soil and placing it underneath. Another really important thing for farmers, so why they're so important in agriculture, is dung beetles um, remove parasite eggs from the dung. So they help kill fly eggs and other types of internal parasites on cows um, or any type of livestock that you have. And so they're really important for minimizing pest populations. So if you have a complete collapse of your dung beetle population, you can have a lot of economic decline because your fields won't be as um, fertile because you'll lose some of the nutrients and you'll have a big outbreak of flies. Um, in natural areas like this, uh, dung beetles are really crucial for um, Again, cycling nutrients, so from the ungulates in the park, like deer and elk, um, and even bears and coyotes, they're really a, a crucial for cycling that dung um, and bringing the nutrients back to the soil. But also dung beetles have been shown to be seed dispersers, particularly in natural areas, by rolling away the dung, particularly something like the canthon dung beetles that roll, roll the dung, they bring seeds away from the dung paddy and actually bury them under the soil, which helps a plant grow. So instead of the seeds being stuck on top of the soil and the dung paddy, they put them underneath the soil, which really helps uh, speed up the germination process. For me to share with people that insects and um, things that we don't traditionally think of as intelligent actually have really cool, really cool behaviors and really, really interesting lifestyles and that um, insects are some of the most diverse and most interesting things to study for behavior and have traditionally been excluded from behavior um, research. So that's been a fun one for me to, to show people is actually dung beetles have super complex behaviors and you can see them out in the field, which is really fun.